Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. Today I have a little bit of an unboxing to do, but this is not an unboxing for myself. This is for somebody else. This I bought way before Christmas, and it just got here, what, four days ago, three days ago, something like that. So yeah, it's kind of a long wait for this, and I have to apologize to the friend of mine that I bought this for, that, uh, you know, it just got here. So I'm hoping everything goes well, but... The reason why I have it and I didn't have it shipped over to him is because I want to take a look at it. I want to make sure everything is okay with this and he's not going to have any problems putting this thing together. So let me go ahead and start opening this thing up. Hopefully I got the right side of the box where I'm opening it. As you can tell by the tape, well, you kind of know where this came from. All right, so there you go. Pretty much a BC Rich guitar, right? Looks like everything is good as far as lining up goes. Doesn't look like there's anything that is out of whack. They already got the screw holes pre-drilled on the back of the neck with the body, so that shouldn't be hard or a problem to put together. The body ah, smells really good. So we're looking at a maple neck, maple fretboard. Now the only thing about this fretboard is it's not finished, so it's bare wood. Uh, this is going to have to be clear coated or dyed or whatever you want to do it before you end up doing it otherwise you kind of lose your inlays over here and it doesn't feel too bad frets are not great they're good up here not too bad but down here they're just a little bit on the sharp side I could take care of that really really easily not a big deal probably a plastic nut the nut feels like it is mm, kind of centered not great but it's kick guitar these are things that you're going to end up fixing or changing or whatever when you end up getting this so i'm going to end up doing a little bit of work on this neck a little bit to kind of make the frets a lot better there's no cracks anywhere we got a scarf joint here the feel is really good as far as being smooth goes they did a nice job with the sanding part of it but uh it looks like medium frets and the frets are going to need to be polished up a little bit. They're a little bit on the rough side. Body is mahogany. Looks like they put the ground wire on the tailpiece instead of where it normally is on the bridge. Uh, Three-way switch, probably tone, tone, volume, volume. Output jack is on the back. It looks good. I mean, this thing actually looks really nice for a kit. This would be a good paint job body because of the way it looks as far as the wood goes. Uh, you can kind of tell the difference between here's one piece, here's another piece, and here's another piece. But it is three pieces. Uh, let's see here. Wait. Yep, it is three pieces. It's not four pieces. So we got one, two, and then the third one is over here. So that looks pretty good. That looks pretty decent. I am going to go over this neck and kind of fix some of these sharp frets, give it a level job, make sure that the uh, it's you know nice and level and there's no issues with it. Um, the rest of it is basic kick guitar stuff, so you know it's not going to be that big of a deal as far as electronics and pots and shit like that go. Although, let's see here. Yeah, it's got enough room in there for a regular three-way switch. You gotta use small pots over here because of the how small the control cavity is. So you gotta use the smaller pots, not the real big ones like I use the CTS. You probably have to use CTS minis. Again, I'm gonna throw a few things inside of here, and uh, you know, maybe he'll use his parts, maybe he won't. Um, see what goes on with it. Hopefully, he enjoys this build, and uh, it turns out to be a real nice instrument for him. All right, so you guys take it easy, have a good one, and this is kind of just a little unboxing for the person that this is going to. Uh, sorry it's coming to you so late. Merry Christmas.